<laughs> well, the summer like temperatures in the forecast this weekend, it may be hard to think about winter and Christmas time right now. Yeah, but that's exactly what some people are already getting ready for. Fox 2 meteorologist Jamie Travers is in Ladue to explain. We are here in Tillis Park where preparations are already underway for a favorite St. Louis holiday tradition, the 35th annual Winter Wonderland, where over 1 million lights are going to be set up around the park. And if you were to put those lights end to end, they would stretch from here to about Rolla, Missouri. Typically, the lights start going up in Tetlis Park the first week of October, but this year a smaller design and setup team of 15 people down from 25 normally will work over the next 10 weeks to get these lights up. The reduced crew is so everyone can spread out more and stay safe. Right now they're working on some of their favorite displays like Santa waving and the archways and also getting the lights up in the trees. The approximately one mile loop takes about 20 to 30 minutes to go through. A lot of hard work goes into putting on a spectacular show each year and being able to continue this tradition in this COVID world brings a sense of normalcy. And this year, keep an eye out for some new displays. Each year we try and switch up things. Uh, I started coming here when I was a kid, and so you'll see some of those classics. But we should, uh, we should also have a couple dozen new pieces this year sprinkled throughout the park. So keep an eye out on the mile-long loop, and you'll see some new, uh, some new additions. We're unable to do a lot of our normal holiday events, and we're, we're excited that Winter Wonderland is still able to go on in, this, in the global pandemic. So hopefully people can do, enjoy their holidays still safely and at a distance. Winter Wonderland opens on November 20th, but the first night to drive through the park is November 25th, which is the night before Thanksgiving. It runs through January 2nd, 2021. It costs $10 per vehicle and reservations are not required. You can also enjoy the lights on foot or by carriage. Make sure to check out their calendar at winterwonderlandscl.com and we will have a link to that website with this story online and on our news app. Reporting in Tillis Park, I'm meteorologist Jamie Travers.